Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here resuming Pokemon 3D. And you may be wondering, what is this in front of me? And <laughs> that is exactly what I'm wondering too. Um, I just happened to notice this. I was actually, first of all, let me explain the backstory, I guess. Um, there's still no new update, so I was just going to wander around kind of aimlessly <laughs> and make uh, kind of a pseudo part out of this. Um, but then I noticed this in like the corner of Lavender Town, and I was like, uh, or it takes you. And... <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny. Um, I'll Frolligator, you're in the way. Hold on, let me do that. And now I get better luck. Okay, so it's obviously Slenderman, but can I go through there or something? No, I guess not. Well, <laughs> that was kind of funny. Um, I mean, I guess it's appropriate given it's Lavender Town, but I don't know. I feel like it looks like you should be able to go in there or something. I don't know. Maybe that'll be something like later on that it's hinting at. I, like, never noticed that until I was coming down this uh, little area here and just happened to look over to the left. So, anyways, though, um, like I just mentioned briefly, I don't really have anything better to do, so <laughs> I haven't explored this area yet. Um, I mostly is just fishermen, and I think you can get the super rod up here somewhere. A kind of rod. I don't remember which one. Um, but... Also, it would be useful to, you know, get a little training in, I guess, before the next gym, or gyms, plural, I guess, whenever I take on next. Um, and then, <clears throat> eventually, maybe do something. I don't really have, <laughs> have any clear plans at this point. Um, I kind of want to check out that uh, Five Island, though. I'm curious to see what that whole situation is about that I referenced in the last video. But, um, I better do this stuff first, I guess. So, and I grew a level. So, already this is paying off. Um... Now that I have Razor Leaf, these guys are at decently low levels. Um, I shouldn't have too big of a problem, really, uh, clearing this area. And way to just, yeah, take yourself out there. Good job. It failed. Uh, that's always good. Anyways, um, that's not going to do much. You have full health. But uh, I really wish there was more to talk about. Like, I hate these really boring parts, to put it bluntly, um, because there's literally nothing to talk about. Uh, if there's no new update, which, like I said, in this case, there isn't. I guess in case you missed my video a couple, few weeks ago, uh, I guess it was just a week ago, two weeks ago, maybe, um, I can talk about uh, the last update again. Um, I don't know what this sign says, though. I'm kind of curious. Oh, it's just a fishing spot. Um... I thought there was an item out there, but maybe there's not. Oh, I got a Carvos. I didn't even know I had that. Um, I guess I'll give that to Pidgeot. Seems like someone who needs to be quick. Um, I only had 10 moon milks too. I didn't realize I was that low. But anyways, um, I'm going to sail over there real fast and just double check. Make sure there isn't like a hidden item or something. So, that. No. No. Now, okay. Well, you know, we'll, didn't hurt to check. Uh, like I said, this part isn't really <laughs> going to be all that great, um, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. I don't know, maybe I'll do two parts this week. We'll see how long this ends up taking me and kind of where I get to and all that. Um, my goal is basically to make it to Fuchsia City if I can, or down in that area. I don't know if you can actually make it around that way. I'm trying to remember. Like, the... <laughs> It's just kind of an open world-ish area once you get to Kanto, since there's, uh, to some extent. Obviously, I can't go into Saffron yet, evidently, for some reason still. Um, even though I solved the power plant situation. So I could have sworn, there may be something else I have to do, I don't remember. I'll figure that out at some point, but like I said, there's no point in me fretting over too much when I got a couple other things to work on here. Still. <laughs> Love that Magikarp animation. Um, that is awesome. Anyways, though, um, Quillfish is a Pokemon, and it shouldn't be that difficult to defeat, presumably. Um, and I'm just kind of stretching for things to talk about at this point <laughs> already. So let's see here. There's not even, like, really any... Well, I guess there is some Pokemon-related uh, news. Uh, Greninja and Charizard got announced for uh, the new Smash Brothers game recently, a few days ago. Or I guess whenever this gets uploaded, it'd probably be like 
almost a week, I guess, or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's something worth mentioning, because... That's pretty pretty much about as relevant as uh, information as I can think of at the moment. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, there really isn't much. So, well, that that new Pokemon Trials that game came out came out some time ago as well. Um, I really kind of want to pick that up, but since I'm really poor, that doesn't seem like an overly feasible option at the moment. So, I may uh, pass on that. Oh, it's not that expensive, you know. Um, it's just a uh, a uh, downloadable game, so it may be worth checking out. I haven't played the original Pokemon Trose, so I can't really suggest anything on that. But uh, maybe I'll get lucky though, and something really interesting will happen. Like I'll find another picture of Slenderman or some, something like that. That was just so extremely random. I didn't really know what to, uh, how to react to that. Um, but here is something interesting, actually. Finally. Talk to this guy and he should give us a rod. Uh, no doubt in my mind at all, so I know I'm right. Yeah. Hey, you're a fishing fan. Oh, it is a super rod. Okay, that's what I thought, but uh, I wasn't super positive. Um, so, that being said, I'm going to heal up my Weeping Bell again. I'm going to go through all my Moomoo Milks in uh, one sitting. That's kind of sad. I'd have to fly all the way back to Kanto to get more. I would not relish the idea of, you know, if I had the magnet train fixed and stuff. If I get into Saffron to fix the magnet train, that would be different, but I don't like having to fly to uh, the Elite Four and then over to Johto and stuff to and back and forth and all that other whatnot. I'm going to try putting this guy to sleep here. Not feeling like dealing with a Gyarados. Um, I don't have any electric types on my team, do I? Nope, of course not, because that would be illogical. Um, so let's just go with, uh, let's go with Frogator. I know it's kind of a cheap cop-out, but, uh, I don't really, I mean, he lowered my attack, and it's a Gyarados, so, I mean, he's probably gonna take my Razor Leafs pretty well, and I'm just not feeling that. Uh, I'm especially not feeling the Dragon Dance, because that's, that could be, um, become a problem if he does it a couple more times here. No, he just went for Hydro Pump, which is not at all affected by uh, Dragon Dance, so great job on your strategies there. And you're just going to go for it again. Okay. Well, that was a uh, good effort, I guess, on your part, but unfortunately it was not good enough. Ooh, I get Ring Out. Um... Eh, no. <laughs> I can't really justify that. So, of course he has an Ergyrdos. Uh Let's see how much Surf does. I don't know what uh, Gyarados' special defenses are like, but eh, I can uh, I can deal with that, especially if he just uses Hydro Pump. Um, <laughs> I mean, I assume that, uh, I mean, I guess I could try using Crunch and going for the defense drop, but actually that might be worth uh, seeing if that'll actually do anything or not. Um, I'm just doubting that it'll, well, it did about, <clears throat> did about the same, I guess. Didn't really necessarily do any less, I guess, really, so might as well just use Crunch. I was just worried with the Intimidate uh, attack drop that it would do not that much, but it, it still did okay. Now it's probably going to do next to nothing, um, <laughs> as it's been cut in twice half now. Yeah, but you know, maybe I can just go for the uh, the defense drop here. Hopefully. Yay! So that's always good. Um... And let's see, that'll probably do some damage. Yep. Not quite enough to knock me out, though, thankfully. So I can just Hyper Potion. And probably use it again, I guess. I don't know what else he would have used. Yeah. Okay. Um, but he's almost defeated, so it's like... Yeah. One more hit should do him in. And there we go. So I think this is his last Pokemon, I hope. I really don't want to deal with another stupid Gyarados. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> there we go. So we are going to continue on. Um, I think there's an item. That, well, yeah, maybe. Yep, okay. So there's an item over here. Oh, by the way, that little, uh, that side route that I passed earlier, I think leads over to uh, Diglett's Cave. Um, and I could go check that out at some point if there, you know, like maybe after this, if there's, you know, 
if I feel like recording another part or something. Um, I'll see how it all goes. Yep, so there's Team Rocket. Probably not gonna let me pass, are ya? Lost Tools is standing here and, uh, nothing is planned past year. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, oh, you know what, though? I wonder if I'm actually supposed to advance on to Five Island, and that's why I can't get into Saffron and stuff yet. Oh, that's cool how that just rendered in front of me. But anyways, um... Wait, how am I supposed to... Can I surf over there? I guess I can cut while surfing. I did not know I could do that. So yeah, I'll take this nugget. Why not? Um... And then I will go back the other way. And you know what I'm going to try to... I, this may be a two-part Tuesday, or Tuesday-Thursday probably more likely, um, as I'll divide it up. So if that is the case, um, I will just finish this part up shortly by going over here. Because I'd hate to leave you guys with another short part. Um, since last week's part was pretty short. Uh, not to mention, not only a short part, but just a really boring one at that. So I will try to, uh, have a moderately interesting one. In the next part, I guess I should say. This, obviously, this one, this one is past the saving point, so. Nonetheless, uh, let's battle Herman and his eggs. And that is one down. And another one down, potentially. I guess I shouldn't speak too soon, but that's... Well, okay. He survived. Kinda. Psy Shock. I didn't know Exeggutor could learn Psy Shock. That's cool. And that is that. Oh, another Execute. Okay. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to how many Pokemon he has, but uh, hopefully it's not too many. Wow, um, wasn't expecting that. Oh yeah, this is the last one. Okay, I can dig that. So that was an easy fight, basically. And I thought there was an item around here somewhere, probably. I'm just not finding it. Uh, it's probably up, I think it's over there. At least it should be, maybe, but I don't see it. Um. How about you? You want to battle? Might as well just take on all the trainers in this area. Let's keep it fair and square. Alrighty. Oh, good. It's fire type. <laughs> this is going to be an easy one. So, yeah. I'm just going to basically say this is kind of a... I don't even remember what uh, routes these are that I went through, but basically just more of a training exercise than really anything else. Um for me. <laughs> like I said, there's really doesn't anything to the story um, at all. I got the Super Raw. That's pretty much all that's worth mentioning whatsoever. Um, one last thing I may just do that's really super random, um, but maybe worth checking out, is going over to Cerulean City and, uh, wow, he's a Crobat. Okay. Um, he's just kind of going over to Cerulean City and checking out the daycare area or the area that was formerly the, day the, the daycare. I don't know if it is or not anymore. I don't think it is. Um, that's going to kill me. Um, but uh, congratulations. Now I'm going to die with this guy too probably because that's... Oh, that didn't do that much, but I mean, I'm not going to be able to do much either. Well, that was a critical hit though. So, one more turn. Oh wait, no. Acrobatics is a thing. Okay. Let's move on to whoever's next. Oh, great. Someone who can't eat. Oh, I guess I have, like, Fury Attack. Um, that'll go over well, I'm sure. So, at this point, I'm just literally trying to get through these battles as fast as possible. I don't even know if this is something you guys are even remotely interested in seeing. Is, uh, me just go through all these battles. Also, I got turned around. Maybe. I want to go this way, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, one more guy, it looks like, to fight. I thought there was someone else, like, kind of down to my left from where I am now, but I don't see anyone down there. I'll just double check it real fast, probably. Um, but nonetheless, uh, let's go with Assurance. So that probably won't do a ton, but uh, oh yeah, it's not even implemented. Okay, 
Well, let's try... let's try Slam. Why did that do so much crazy damage? Holy cow! That was absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what level he was at, but that... How? <laughs> um, why did Stored Power do so much? He didn't raise his stats at all, as far as I'm aware. Um, that's probably just gonna annihilate me, isn't it? How does it do that? Okay, well... <laughs> Uh, let's just go with the powder snow. Hopefully I am faster. Oh, thank goodness. Um, <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, hey, at least I feel like everyone grew a level in this video, just about. Um, maybe not. Maybe it's a bit of an over-exaggeration. Yeah, I don't see anyone down there, though. Okay, well, that is going to be it for this part. <laughs> like I said, it's really not much of anything. Um, oh, wait, no, I lied. I'm going to Cerulean with all my KO'd Pokemon. Uh, let's see, where am I going? Here, okay. So, gonna go up here real fast. Um, I'll show you one thing I kind of missed out on back when I was in Cerulean. And then the next part, which I will probably film, like I said, right after this, is the, uh, hopefully checking out the islands. If, there, if, if there's no part, I guess I should have mentioned that. If there's no part after this, then it's... Uh, should just be assumed that there is no, um, okay, uh, there is no Five Island implementation yet, um, but we'll see. Okay, so this is just a daycare, and sure. Maybe I could leave my, well, no, I shouldn't leave my Pidgeot with her because, uh, then I wouldn't be able to fly around so easily. So, anyways, though. That's the daycare of Kanto. You can get their phone number and stuff just like you can with the uh, Johto members. And there's Saffron City entrance, but I uh, can't go in there yet because, like I said, they're blocking the way. If you just talk to them, they just big be uh, big meanies and stuff. So anyways, though, that's going to be it for this part. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, I would appreciate you hitting that like button. Potentially subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and you want to get notified of future content and stuff. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks again for watching.